Hey everybody, I'm Rob Sesternino, and I have a podcast talking about Survivor every week, but you're busy, so that's why I've made this the least you need to know about episode two of Survivor, Blood vs. Water. First thing this week, the tribe of new players is acting out a new strategy, and that is that they want to vote somebody out of the tribe because they think that their loved one will switch with them. That person was Rachel, Tyson's girlfriend. I have to say, this is a pretty good strategy. I'm not happy to see Rachel go. She was my pick to win the entire game, but I'm not that sad because I'm pretty convinced that I think next week Tyson is going to switch with her. And if you're Tyson, why not go and switch with her? Sure, that's crazy talk, and I know it's not my game to go and give up, but I feel like if you're Tyson and you're that good in the challenges, all you have to do is not come in third. I feel like it's a pretty tempting thing to do Go to Redemption Island, hang out there for two weeks, just don't come in last in any of the challenges. Meanwhile, you would think that his alliance of five would take care of Rachel over on the tribe of veterans. I think it's a good move. It's going to be very interesting to see how this blood versus water twist plays out next week. Meanwhile, we had our first Redemption Island troll, and it turns out that Rupert Boneham is the first person eliminated from Survivor Redemption Island. Now on face value, oh my God, what an embarrassment for Rupert to come back on the fourth time and he ends up being out first. He had made the jury on all of his other trips to Survivor, but sitting back and thinking about it for a little bit, was this really the worst case scenario for Rupert? I mean, he comes back, he gets to switch with his wife, sort of a heroic thing to get to do. Maybe he wins a husband of the year 2013 award along the way. Meanwhile, he gets to go out in sort of an honorable way in a game that he was probably going to lose and lose miserably. I didn't think Rupert was going very far in this game, so instead of having the ineptitude show up and not being able to go far into the game, he gets to sort of go out with his head held up high, not having a vote cast against him. For Rupert, I think this was actually a good move after all. Well, that didn't take long for the old Colton to show back up. Sure, he has not said anything offensive yet at this point, and hopefully we're not going to go there, but you have seen the crazy Colton monster return. Now, I understand he went out of the game last time due to an injury, and he feels like he didn't really get his fair shot to play his game last time. So he's back, and he's like, I got to vote somebody out. Everybody's getting on my nerves but you're not supposed to let the other people know that's how you feel. If you're doing that, that is a very bad job. And he's playing a game against some very savvy players that will not work against them. Sure, maybe it will work against a bunch of new players. Did you hear what this person said about you? Did you hear what this person said about you? But these players are smart. They're going to talk to each other. They've already started. And Colton is going to end up voted out of this tribe very quickly. Now, the only thing that could potentially save Colton is if his boyfriend or fiance Caleb ends up switching with him. So it might be fun after all to see Colton voted out and then potentially end up on the tribe of new players and we'll see how he fares with the Bro Alliance. Maybe he could potentially get together with the girls over there who are on the outside looking in. We'll see. All right, so if that just whet your appetite for some more Survivor coverage, we've got another great week on robhasawebsite.com. Wednesday night, I talked to Stephen Fishback, and we debated everything from the episode. And then in our Survivor interview podcast this week, I'm talking with John Carroll from Survivor Marquesas. So go ahead and click those links if you want to see those shows. Otherwise, I will be back to you guys real soon with more about the least you need to know about Survivor Blood vs. Water.